we are going to insert a table. In the insert menu we look for table. We need three rows, three columns. Always make sure you use the person choice instead of the pixels. Pixels is just dots, so it's going to be very small. Percent, this time is going to be 90 percent. Two pixels of border thickness. 5 pixels of cell padding and 5 pixels of cell spacing. The difference between cell padding and cell spacing is that the cell padding is the margin inside the cell before you start typing the information and cell spacing is the space that divides the cells in the table. We click on OK. Now, we need to set a name to this table. The way I need to do it is first I click the table and I select the table in the table tag of the status bar. Then here table and the name is main and enter. So in order to see the name I just select my table and now it's table main as I call it. If I want to add rows or columns I may change anything I did in the properties inspector cell path, cell space, cell border here is where we set the alignment of the whole table in the screen I'm going to choose center now afterwards I'm required to set the table uh, width for each one of the columns the way to do it is first I click on the green triangle and select column. I look in the property inspector for the width of the column which is going to be 20 percent very important to type that percentage symbol as well and we can see the percentage and its corresponding pixels. Another way is just by selecting the whole column with a solid arrow and then I'm going to type 20 percent and finally this one 60%. The sum of all my internal columns is 100, always 100. It doesn't matter the table width, in this case of 90, it could be 80, 85, 100, as you wish or as you need. Now we are required to make this table look like look like this. Then we need to do some more work. In my text file, I'm going to copy the information to paste here. But I need to merge these two cells. Here I have the choice of merging cells. And then I'm going to paste it. I need as well to paste these three cells with the address and phone. And the advertising text in this cell. I need to type my menu as well. which are home, about us, balloons, for her, for him, novelties, and references. I'm going to apply a format to my cells regarding the alignment. I need to select my cells and here I have the alignment of the cells. Horizontally it's going to be to the center and vertically to the top. Now my menu is at the top. Now I need to color my cells. For that I require to use these specific colors. So we're coloring this cell in red my color code starts with a hashtag and six characters. So copy, click on the cell I want to color. BG stands for background and then I paste 
the coat. This one should be colored in blue. So I get my color coat and I paste it in the background box. Finally, the gray color. Very good. Now we are setting formats to the text. These are already predetermined by Dreamweaver. So, number one, I select the text. I click on my format through the menu. Select heading one, and that's it. The menu will be heading two. Address and phone are heading three. Let's apply heading four. Oh no, sorry, it's paragraph. So I'll click on paragraph. Now my table is just like my model, and I'm gonna save my changes. I may use the standard toolbar. I just right click after the title box, and I can display it or hide it. This is the save icon and the save all pages icon. My balloons page should look like this. So we are keeping the color cells and we're just changing the white area. There are two different ways in which we can do it. For example, I can copy paste a page, I select it, Ctrl C, Ctrl B. If I select it and press F2, I may just rename my page as you need it. This is just an example. I can also copy paste the table. So I select my table, click on any cell, I click on the table tag, Ctrl C and Ctrl B. Now I'm going to change the heading, it should be balloons. Menu is the same. We don't need this text, but I need to add more columns here because I need four in total. So 102 is the menu that I get from right clicking, table, insert rows or columns. I need two columns. Here I have them, four. But they should be like equally sized in width. So I'm selecting my columns and I'm typing 20%. Now each one of my columns is 20%. I also need to add some rows. So I'm going to use the same menu just by right click, table, insert rows or columns. I'm going to insert five more rows. The, and the way to fix this is just by selecting all the red cells and merge them. Here we have it. I'm just deleting the extra spaces. Right. Now I need to merge these cells and type Birthdays. I'm going to apply a format of heading 4. Select the cells, merge, special, locations, select text, format, heading 4. Select cells, merge, any location. Format, heading 4. 
and finally I'm gonna save all my pages.